Good afternoon, folks. I'm Adam Moz, and this is Moz Models. Today is going to be the first in a series of Ethos Quick Tips, where I take you through doing one simple and easy task in Ethos uh, that I get asked questions about regularly. And this one I've had a couple of times, and it is, how do you set up an analog control to control your screen brightness or your system volume? So, what we're gonna do is we're going to go to system, that's the, uh, the gear icon here, or you can press the system button here. Now we're gonna go to general, and you'll see here, we've got the brightness, and on the upper left of the brightness slider, you can see that there is the little three-line hamburger symbol. That symbol tells you that you can long press this control to get options. So we're going to long press. And in this case, we get pretty standard options of set to maximum, set to minimum, and use a source. Set to maximum, set to minimum are do exactly what they say on the tin. Use a source lets you pick any source as a uh, as an input so long as it's global so you can't pick for example a mixer or a var you can however pick a channel or an analog control something that is always there in every model so your channels are always there uh, your mixers for each model may be different than output to the channel, but the channel itself is always there, as are the controls. So today, we're going to set this to S2, because I don't use S2 for anything much. And there we go. I twiddled S2. You see analogs and S2. Tap there, and you can see it gets dark. And there it gets bright. And gets dark again. And it lags a little. That's just because it takes the uh, the screen and the backlight a little while to ca to catch up. You can also note that you can change the sleep mode brightness that way. And most importantly, if you scroll all the way down, your main volume and your vario volume. So we're going to also change the, ver the main volume. We're going to go use the source again. And I didn't hit that one this time. So use the source. Got the drop down. And I'm going for the slider on the side here. You can't see it, but you can hear it. So there we go. Minimum. It's up for me on my sliders because I've got them reversed. If you've got an out-of-the-box uh, X18, all the way down is minimum. All the way up is uh, full. I did a hardware modification. I'll talk about that in another video. But uh, that's essentially what you do. It confuses a lot of folks on this one because they did that when they first got the radio. Now they get another radio, they go back, and it doesn't look the same as it does on their first radio. Heard a lot from guys with X20s. They go get an X18, they get a twin X light, and they go, where's the drop down? Well, the answer is you got to long press and use the source to get the drop down menu. Otherwise, it's hidden. And it's not obvious on this case because the last time you did it was a year or two ago when you got the previous radio. But it is there. And it is there, and it's exactly the same on all of the Ethos radios, whether you're running a Horus, Tandem, or Twin. Okay, that's all for today. And uh, come back another time for another quick Ethos tech tip.